Okay, so just a quick video here. This is a Honda Prelude or Accurate Integra GSR style solenoid. This is a vacuum block. So this is a one-way valve here. You have one end connected to um, a vacuum source and one end connected to a vacuum pot that you want to actuate. So if you saw my previous video, you'll see the FD secondary butterfly uh, vacuum pot. So that's going to go on one of this. I'll figure out exactly which one um, comes out here. This is a storage essentially for vacuum. And then you have a solenoid, which is just a simple little two pin Honda connector. Um, and that's going to be triggering on and off, allowing air to flow through properly. So by giving this 12 volts or grounding it out, depending on how you wire it, um, it's going to allow for that flapper blade to go from fully closed to fully open, and it's nearly instantaneous. So that's it. So this actually had it from the Honda right here. The same exact idea. There's uh, plates in here. I'll disassemble it and I'll show you guys. Okay, so just a quick little update. Um, I did figure out which way this went. So this is pulling off plenum vacuum, right? This is just a simple vacuum port. This has the one-way valve in it that goes in. That's what keeps air into this. Then you have the output, which is uh, electronically controlled. It doesn't have the one-way valve on it. That's going to come out here into the solenoid, which is your secondary flappers, okay? So you get the same idea. I'll pull this apart and I'll show you guys exactly what this looked like. So you get the idea how to apply it to your RX-7. Okay, so here we are again. This is now the manifold taken apart. Air comes in through the throttle body, which has its own, of course, uh, throttle cable. Through here, this is just a plenum, so anywhere you can get a true vacuum source, you're going to have this attached to its one-way valve into the reservoir of vacuum. Uh, then you have your solenoid, which will either go um, triggered by the ECU to either go 12 volt or ground. Uh, it doesn't matter, it's just a two pin, so the easiest control possible. Then this comes unaltered vacuum line to the vacuum pot. So this is currently open. When the engine's running, it's going to be like this because there's vacuum pulling on this, okay? So what happens is the solenoid, when it's engaged, stops that air. So it stops the vacuum transferring through here. And therefore, when this doesn't have vacuum pulling on it to keep it closed, it opens without vacuum. So hopefully that makes it a little more clear for everyone. Um, the idea of the solenoid is to stop this air going from here to here. And so this is going to be forced shut by air, which is very similar to how your FD is. Okay, and then by itself, boom, it goes up quick. Actually, if I disconnect this, that'll probably go pretty quick. Yeah, so that's, that's how fast it's gonna react. It's really just an instantaneous open. And that's what you guys need to be figuring out. That's that simple. Plenum, vacuum solenoid, stops the vacuum, opens. Then it opens up again, vacuum closes this, boom. And that's how we make response out of a small displacement motor.